uh, when the Quran says, as it does in many different places, that Muhammad is the Ansan al Kamil, that is the perfect man, it means that Muslims to this very day are obligated by their faith to emulate and to copy Muhammad. Now, whatever uh, the demographics or uh, the situation was in uh, the Arabian Peninsula of the 7th century, when those mores are applied uh, and, and, and enforced under Islamic law today in the 20th century, especially as regards um, child marriage, then in the 20th century, 21st century, that is a problem. Yeah, it's absolutely horrifying. It's horrifying on so many levels. Uh, it should be exposed if pedophilia is something that's in a religious doctrine, no matter what religion, it should be exposed to protect those innocent children from being victims of that. This is also why, this idea that she doesn't have the rights, this woman, Austrian woman, doesn't have the right to air her opinion because it might offend Muslims, even though she, it's, not, she's not, it's not hate speech per se. She's not looking at someone and berating them. It's not any of that horrible thing. She's simply saying, I don't believe in this religion. It looks as though Mohammed was a pedophile because he slept with a nine-year-old girl and married a six-year-old girl. She's not allowed to say that. It shows us here in America why the idea of hate speech as defined by the left to be anything that offends anyone else, why it's so dangerous, why it's such a slippery slope to losing our freedom and having the government or a court, arbitrary people sitting behind a bench in robes, tell us what we are or are not allowed to say and what is or is not in the interest of public debate. Exactly so, and, and I think we here in America uh, need to take a lesson from this case and others like it. It's not the only one like it, um, but to, to realize that at the moment, the forces of the hard, hard communist Marxist left are in an alliance with the forces of the global Islamic movement uh, that we sometimes call the red-green axis. And those two in collusion right now um, are imposing increasingly uh, these, these, these uh, laws that are completely out of the seventh century, but in the interest of shutting down free speech, which they both share at the moment, the red and the green, share that objective of crushing free speech uh, because it is inconvenient, because it might be offensive. Well, we here in America, we believe that speech is protected unless it is immediate incitement to violence. And so when we see these kinds of liberty-crushing decisions coming out of a European high court on human rights, uh, we need to take a lesson and realize what we have here and cherish it and hold tight to it.